And then suddenly I saw like an entire goddamn camera crew just surrounding the staircase. And I was like, what's going on? And uh, one of them said, he's gonna jump. And I was like, what? And, and I thought that was like a 10 foot fall in maximum, which would be pretty scary on its own. But looking down, it's much deeper than I imagined. So what kind of adrenaline does somebody get doing all of that and especially that backflip at the end? So it's not really adrenaline. Uh, the way that you kind of want to go about this and the way that I've trained parkour over the last 12 years is you want to be as calm as possible. Oh. Okay, try to execute it as best as you can with like preps similar to it. And then just when everything feels good, go for it. That's kind of how I've trained for this long, so yeah. Well, I've always regarded parkour as something dangerous, so. No, it's, um. It's, it's, not, it's not as dangerous as people think. Like if you train and you take your time and you do everything safely, you know, sometimes you just feel good and you go for it, you know? All right. Yeah. If you guys are interested, you can find us on YouTube at The Unknown Project or on Instagram at Unknown Parkour. My personal Instagram page is Mr. Underscore Rizzo. And uh, we just live in the city, do parkour. All right, look us up. Thank you so much. Oh, Hell yeah, bro. It's good to meet you. Good to meet you.